guys, another quick MyFitnessPal tip. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you today about how to set up and uh, share your diary. So as a group continues, we can see who's making progress and if we would like and they're sharing their diary, then we can just log on and see their, their diary and see what they did the previous week um, in terms of eating that uh, gave them the success that they currently have. So what I would suggest that you do also is uh, share your diary and become friends with me on my fitness pal because then I can log on uh, to my personal fitness pal and see your diary and if there's any issues or any questions that we may have on on how we can improve results we can log on and sort of analyze uh, your eating plan and start from there so if you go to my fitness pal you log on you for example uh, I'm at the home page here's Jacqueline she's my current friend if I select Jacqueline, I see that up here, that's her achievements. And right here, I can send her an email. If I select that, that pops up and I send her an email through my fitness pal. Um, and if I click on the diary, it says Jacqueline, diary is locked with a key. So I emailed her and asked her to open up that diary to me. The uh, Location of where you would want to go to set your diary to public or at least so you can share it with your friends is Let's go home. You go to the more button From the more button you scroll down to I would imagine it is settings and then from settings we have uh, profile diary settings sharing and privacy so click on sharing and privacy. Then you have what we're going in here for is actually diary settings. My diary setting is set to public so anybody can see it, but you can also do it uh, with friends only or you can do it locked with a key. And if you send me that key, then I would practically be the only one uh, able to log in. But we could do friends only. Um, and as you could see, when I go to Jacqueline, I don't see anything other than that she's lost 12 pounds. So it does not tell me her current weight or other stats like that. It just pretty much says 12 pounds. Okay guys, now I'm on Jacqueline's phone and I'm gonna check out what it looks like because I'm friends with her and my diary was set to public. So I'm gonna see and show you guys what she can see in terms of my information. So I'm at Jacqueline's home page home feed right now and if I scroll down I think I saw me there's X gains that's me so if I select that you can see that I've lost 10 pounds if I go to my diary remember Jacqueline's was locked mine is not you are viewing X gains diary you can see that what I ate uh, last Friday and then last Thursday and I guess you can go back as far as whatever. So change the date to, let's go to September. I don't know if I was putting something in and in May I probably was. Let's go to May 12th and select that if it works. Okay, hey, there you go. I had ground beef and chicken breasts. Anyways, if we share each other's diary like this, then we can really see what's working and what's not working. So if somebody has an issue or somebody says, hey, my week last week was crap. Uh, I felt sluggish and somebody says hey I felt great and we can log on and see what the person who felt great was doing and what the person who sort of felt sluggish was doing and this is a really good way of keeping us accountable this is really all I ask for these three weeks is for us to really pay attention to what we're eating and write it down so that we can keep track of how we feel and change what we eat accordingly just to sum up once again if you touch my fitness pal at the bottom you see home diary progress and more you go to more you scroll down to settings at the bottom and then you have sharing and privacy and that's where you can go to diary sharing and change the setting itself there and your other sharing options